All right, we are now moving on to section three, multiplying and dividing fractions. When you multiply fractions, you first need to change any mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then all you do is multiply. You multiply the numerators, you multiply the denominators, and simplify. You don't need to ask the question, do I have to simplify? Always, always, always simplify your answer. So let's try a few guided examples. And again, remember, you are writing these down with me. So first we have 3 fifths multiplied by 4 ninths. I'm going to multiply across the top. 3 times 4, that's 12. 5 times 9, that is 45. And if you didn't know that, extra math is part of your summertime as well. And you'll find yourselves getting really good at these facts if you practice on a daily basis. All right, and looking at 12 and 45, the GCF of 12 and 45, do you have it? It is 3. So again, remember, Mrs. Sullivan just went over how to simplify a fraction. We now need to divide each of those by 3 to get our final answer. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 45 divided by 3 is 15. So 4 15 is the answer. Moving on to example 2. We have 5 eighths, or yes, 5 eighths times 6 sevenths. So multiply across the top. 5 times 6 is 30. Multiply across the bottom. 8 times 7 is 56. Now in looking at 30 and 56, the largest number that they have in common that divides into both of them is, do you have it? It's 2. So we're going to divide each by 2. 30 divided by 2, or half of 30, would be 15. And 56 divided by 2, or half of 56, is 28. All right, next one. We have 8 ninths times 1 third. Multiply across the top. 8 times 1 is 8. Multiply across the bottom, 9 times 3 is 27. Now in looking at 8 and 27, the only factor they have in common is 1. That means it's already in simplest form. So that one's done. All right, bottom row. These look a little different because whoop, there's a whole number in front of each fraction. Now when you learn how to do addition and subtraction or when you did, you learn that you didn't have to really change anything. When you're multiplying fractions, you need to change these into improper fractions before you get to multiply across the top and the bottom. So, we're going to change those, just like we learned to in lesson one. So, two times one is two, plus one is three. So, one and a half is actually three over, and we're going to keep our denominator the same, three halves. To change two and two thirds, we take three times two, which is six, plus two, which is eight. Keep your denominator the same. So you have 3 halves times 8 thirds. This is just the way we want it, improper. 8 times 3 is 24. 2 times 3 is 6. Now some of you, when you look at this, you might see, oop, 24 and 6, hey, that comes out to a whole number, yes. Fractions are actually little division problems, so when it comes out to a whole number, it's great. 24 divided by 6, it's just 4. There's no need to write 4 over 1. Whenever you can write it as a whole number, write it that way. All right, last mixed number example. We're going to change this. Again, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, so this becomes 11 thirds because you keep that denominator. Multiply that by 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so that's now 5 fourths. When you multiply across the top, you get 55. When you multiply across the bottom, you get 12. Now, in looking at this, I'm hoping you notice this is improper. And we had said in the beginning that you don't want your simplest form to ever be improper. It doesn't count as simplest form. So in order to change this into a mixed number, we have to take 55 divided by 12. And if you can do this in your head, that's great. I'm going to work out and show you how I'm getting the answer. So 12 goes into 55. I know it goes in there four times because 12 times 4 is 48. So 4 is my whole number. Now we have to figure out how many are left. 55 minus 48 is 7. That remainder is my new numerator, and my denominator always stays the same. Mrs. Sullivan is going to talk to you about division. All right, with division of fractions. When dividing, you must first change any mixed numbers to improper fractions, just like you do with the multiplication. Then you're going to leave the first fraction alone 
change the division to multiplication and write the second fraction, oh, I'm trying to zoom in, as its reciprocal, flip. I think um, your sixth grade teachers did something called keep switch flip, a little something to remember when you're dividing fractions. You can now solve it like you did the previous multiplication problems. Here's some examples. So we are going to keep the first fraction the way it is. We are going to switch the division to multiplication. And we are going to flip the second fraction to its reciprocal. So that would be 7 fifths. Then you multiply straight across the top. 1 times 7 is 7. 4 times 5 is 20. They don't have any common factors other than 1, so this one's already reduced. Check out the next one. 2 fifths, we're going to keep that one. Switch to multiplication. Flip to the reciprocal. Now multiply straight across. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 3 is 15. That one's nice and pretty. They don't have any common factors other than 1. All right, how about the next one? Keep the first one, 1 fourth. Switch to multiplication. Flip to the reciprocal. Now go straight across. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 1 is 4. This one, I'm sure you know that 2 fourths can be reduced. We're going to divide top and bottom by 2 because that's our GCF, and we get 1 half. All right, look at our next ones. Again, we have mixed numbers. We need to change these to improper fractions first. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 more is 5 thirds. I'm not going to do any switching just yet. I just want to change these to improper fractions. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 more is 11 fourths. All right, now I'm going to solve these just like I did the ones above. Keep the first. Switch to multiplication. Flip to the reciprocal. Then just go straight across. 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 11 is 33. That should look more like a 0. So 20 30 thirds. And there's not much other than 1 that goes into both of those. So 20 30 thirds is your final answer there. All right, one more like that. First, change these to improper. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 more is 9 fourths. Leave it alone for now. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 more is 8 fifths. Now I'm going to do keep, switch, flip. Keep, 9 fourths. Switch to multiplication. Flip to the reciprocal. Straight across the top, 9 times 5 is 45. 4 times 8 is 32. And look what we got here. We have an improper fraction that we have to change back to a mixed number, just like you do with multiplication. We can change this and do 45 divided by 32. 32 will go into 45 one time, so that's your whole number. And to find our remainder, just do 45 minus 32, and you get 13. So we have a remainder of 13. Remember, keep that denominator, 1 and 13 30 seconds. All right, go ahead and do your section 3 on your summer packet.